Introducing Psychology for Today with host Alan Hedberg, Ph.D., clinical psychologist. Watch it on CentralValleyTalk.com the first Wednesday of the month at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, connect with the program on YouTube, Psychology for Today. Dr. Hedberg is also on YouTube under Dr. Teach Me to Parent and Boys to Men. It is 1236. We are live and local on this Thursday. It is the 10th of February. Welcome to Central Valley Talk Live. I'm Austin Reed coming to you from our Tower District Studios inside the Mike Griggs building. Thanks for joining us. We've got Super Bowl coming up this Sunday, of course. Monday is Valentine's Day, and the weather is beautiful. I just looked at the forecast. Highs today in Fresno, high, uh, right around like 76 degrees. Yeah. In, in February. I mean, we're still officially in winter. So, hey, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Austin Reed on air. We are going to be joined now by our next guest uh, live in studio with us. This is Delaney with Enriching Lives. Hello there. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. So tell us all about Enriching Lives. If somebody's watching, they've never heard about it before. Yeah, of course. So Enriching Lives is an adult family home agency. And so what we do is we certify community members such as yourself to become family home providers and they provide care for an adult with a developmental disability. And so Enriching Lives, we've been around for about 10 years. Um, so we're all through California. So we have locations in Eureka, Sacramento, Santa Rosa, Concord, Bakersfield, Fairfield, and then now Fresno. So we actually just opened up our Fresno location in August. So we are super new to the Central Valley, but we do cover Tulare, Kings, Madera, Mariposa, Merced, and then Fresno, of course. So why the expansion to Fresno? So we have a need. Um, so we have adults with developmental disabilities that are looking to have a family home environment. Mm -hmm. And so a family home agency provides an alternative living option. So they may be living in a residential facility, a developmental center, or they might be living with their own family or independent. And so what we can provide is a family environment. And so you would be matched with an individual and then your family would be providing the day-to-day -day care and supervision, um, incorporating them into everyday family life, like going out to eat, to the movies, helping them with their goals and providing that overall support. And so here in the Central Valley, we have definitely a desperate need for family home providers right now. So we're looking for community members that are open to opening their hearts and their home for an individual with a developmental disability. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved. Yeah, so I have been um, involved with social services, kind of that realm for mm -hmm. the last couple of years. And I was just looking for my next career move and looking around like, you know, what would be a good fit for me? And I had heard about Enriching Lives back in last summer and I was looking into their agency. And what really drew me to that is the amount of time and care we take to match the individuals we serve with our family home providers. And it's a really great organization because what we do is we look at you as like a family member and your family and we're seeing what your everyday routine is, what you like, what you don't like, you know, what your family involvement is. And then we're looking at the individual that we have a referral for and we're thinking, okay, this would be a perfect match. And we set up like a meet and greet. So then you would get to meet the individual, they would get to meet you, kind of tour the home and see if this would be a place that they would like to live in. And then you get to decide also like, oh, this might be someone that I can work with mm -hmm. and, you know, we click. And so we kind of monitor that, like, are you guys a good fit? And then we would move forward with a weekend visit. And so you would get to have them in your home, maybe practicing uh, the medication management, mm -hmm. assisting them with their needs and seeing if it's an overall good fit. And if we as a whole, so you, the individual, us as an agency decide that it's a good match, then we would schedule a move-in date. And so for me, that really drew it to me because we take the time to make sure that our matches are good. And we're really taking the care and time to you know, get to know the families that we're working with as well. So for the families, is there a, any kind of financial compensation or how does that work? Yeah, so we provide a stipend for care. Okay. So it's almost like you're becoming a foster parent in a sense, like if you, if you view it as that, except sure. you're working with adults. Right. Yeah, so we do provide a stipend. Um, the range varies, so we can serve up to two individuals in your home. 
So each individual has to have their own bedroom. So if you had two extra spare bedrooms, you could serve potentially up to two. And the stipend would kind of range on their needs. Okay. And so their level of support is assigned by the regional center. So in the Central Valley, it's CVRC. So they kind of determine that. And then um, depending on the individual you're matched with would kind of determine the stipend. Tell me a little bit about the reactions and feedback from just some of your patients it doesn't have to be just you know in Fresno since you yeah. guys are so new but you know what what do they say yeah so what we really find is like if you think of yourself you know who helps you with your goals who do you go home to at the end of the day and whether it's a good day, a bad day, who do you share your experiences with? Who is your motivator? Who helps you when you're like, oh, I wanna lose my COVID weight, or I just wanna work on being healthier, or managing my money, or or a big dream, like I wanna go to law school, I wanna buy that house, like who do you talk to about that? And so the individuals that we're serving may not have come from that. And so when we're able to put them in a family environment, we really see such a difference in them thriving, uh, reaching that self-independence, working on their goals, because they're able to have that love that they need the, the be, to be seen, to be heard, and then just be in an environment where you know people care and they want them to be the best versions of themselves. So what is next for you guys as we're now in 2022 and you're still fairly new here in the in the valley? Yeah, so great question. So we're really looking to expand our family home providers. Again, there's such a desperate need. We have individuals that need this family environment mm -hmm. um, and we need open homes. And so we're really looking for community members and our family home providers come from all different backgrounds and family dynamics. You don't have to have experience working with adults with disabilities or um, even being a caregiver mm -hmm. you know we walk you through that whole certification process and so we're really looking for again open-minded open-hearted people to have their homes available and go through our process and be matched with an individual and just incorporate them into their everyday family life how long is the, is there like a contract like is it yeah how does that work yeah so typically what happens is if you are interested in becoming a family home provider we start the certification process and so that typically starts with an information session we go through um, you know our requirements uh, with the support that our agency would provide to you the potential clients you'd be working with and then overall requirements for like your home background etc and then uh, we start the process it typically takes about six to twelve weeks weeks. And um, once you are a certified family home provider, your contract is good for a year. And then we monitor your compliance and regulations and all that throughout the year. So yeah, you have about a year before you have to renew it again. Perfect, perfect. And then you can kind of look at the situation. Everybody can kind of see, is this working? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And so one thing that's great about our agency is we do have uh, social work coordinators that are going mm -hmm. into the family homes. So they're typically in the home about two to four times a month, providing support mm -hmm. to the family, yeah, su providing support to the individual that's living in their home, making sure that match is stable. If it's not having those conversations or brainstorms of like, okay, how can we make this work? Is it getting together for family game night? Is it just having those uncomfortable conversations about boundaries or routines mm -hmm. you know we're providing all the support um, that you need you know we're there 24 7 crisis management if something comes up you know ensuring that everyone's taken care of so can people if they are interested in learning more here in central cali can they connect with you are you like the outreach coordinator here locally or? yeah so um i'm actually the program manager of our fresno location so okay, if perfect. someone is interested they can definitely look up enriching lives and call our office call myself and we will sign them up for an information session um, or just share a little bit about because you know we are here we're new we're ready yeah. to provide the service we're excited to be here and so yeah we'd love to connect with people that are interested welcome to fresno yeah thank you so much thank you for joining us yeah Appreciate thank it. you for having me come back anytime okay awesome all right i'm austin reed you're watching central valley talk thank you for joining us everybody we uh, are going to be back in just a couple of minutes with another live local guest stick around Introducing Psychology for Today with host Alan Hedberg, Ph.D., clinical psychologist. Watch it on CentralValleyTalk.com the first Wednesday of the month at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, connect with the program on YouTube, Psychology for Today. Dr. Hedberg is also on YouTube under Dr. Teach Me to Parent and Boys to Men.